for the youth there's like the sea hall the arena that's pretty much it and there's outdoors but it's only like baseball or soccer or basketball not much for anything else we created inspire Nineveh to provide youth in the territory with an opportunity to create the Nunavut that they wanted the Nunavut that was from within and the tool we saw for that was entrepreneurship. Where I belong there's something coming on I'm in the shadow, the shadow, the sun Oh, when I need you I'm in the shadow, the shadow, the sun Where I belong there's something coming on No more waiting changing and there's something coming on the other option but the problem with ebay is that it was very difficult for you as a small business to create a brand Because I saw what was needed and I needed to change uh, to benefit the community and the enemy. That was my driving force. And seeing people, training people, whether they be heavy equipment operator or electrician. And so if you don't have another area of your life where you're making money, then how are you going to pay off the $11,000, right? So you need to figure out ways to make profit with different areas of your life in order to be able to pay off the $11,000. One day, I plan to open in each community of Nunavut to have low cost and create quality foods. Hi, my name is Christopher Joseph Hitler. I'm the uh, proprietor of Chris's Kitchen. And my idea is to have nutritious foods at a reasonable prices. I wanted to have a pr uh, program such as this to be able to help us build our own small businesses. And thanks to Inspired Nunavut, We've been lucky enough to have this in our town to help us achieve our goals. The chef is top notch, comes with great food, great personality, great company. Five stars out of five. This is the best meal I've had in Nunavut. Can't even look up. <laughs> To sell at the sea mall, at the flea market, you're going to have racks, uh, you're hoping to have people donate their clothing, um, so that sort of thing. We got a beat going on.
Katzak and my company is Fix It Ruby and I fix electronics. Since February I learned a lot how to run a business, how to treat customers, how to budget, save. I want to accomplish to open a store and create affordable prices for the people here and not have to pay for the full price for a new one. My name is Chico Filamo. My name is Napak Chilaita. We're the owners and operators of our new business called Ikhali Cultural Adventures. And we're going to be taking people out to the river to... Fishing, cooking, and eating country food. We're going to also have performers, throat singers, drum dancers, and we're going to have elders storytelling too. My name is Annie Killebuck. I am the owner and founder of Parties to Remember. I will be consulting birthday parties in people's homes. I will be providing uh, bouncy castles, birthday decorations, and food and candy and prizes as well. Uh, my name is Janine Nabla and my company's name is Anurat. It's a clothing line company that is culturally themed or inspired. I'd like my brand to be recognized, not only in Nunavut, in Canada, but worldwide, hopefully. Um, just to look at my logo and be like, oh, that's that company all the way in Canada's Arctic and she's doing good. And I'd like to be known. I'd like to provide for my children. Um, not only financially, but I'd like them to see me succeed because obviously that will help them in the future too. Nunavut is full of young people, a uh, very, very young population, and uh, not a lot of jobs. And so I personally believe that wherever we can create our own economy, uh, our, little, our own little businesses, and our own little communities, with our youth, uh, in this case, I think it's a great opportunity, and I wish it all the best. This is a great big opportunity, take it. You know, these guys are in Ikhalwi, going like to pond in it, they're going to give a lip. Take this opportunity, if you guys can take it. These guys who are helping us, teaching us, they're like professionals, and they're like, like us every day. They're not like stuck-ups, or they don't look at us like, ah, you can't do it. They want to help, they encourage us. I encourage every young person to take this program if you can. Uh, hi, my name is Michael Milton and I'm the owner of High Arctic Apparel. It's uh, an apparel company that represents Inuit culture, well, aspects of Inuit culture, values, and tools. What I wanted to show and represent was Inuit see more and can do more than what they appear to be. And with the logo I have on the back of the shirt is to represent the Gutsi Book and the Saku, the Harpoon Head, on one pole and put them together because they mostly use the Gutsi Book in the Western Arctic and the Harpoon in the Eastern Arctic. 
and put them together and you have the entire Arctic and that's what I kind of want to represent. Not just Pond Inlet, not just Baffin Island, not just Nunavut, but the entire Western and Eastern Arctic. With the program itself, it's it's been amazing, eye-opening how far we can go with if we believe in ourselves and um, if we have help doing it. Like with Inspire Nunavut has helped me a lot uh, to like reassure me that I can start a business, I can put the work into it and just keep going. Before we were on income support and now we're both off it and taking this program and now we're going to own our own business. And we're going to be helping people and helping ourselves like for our future too. Awesome. I got this whole damn thing the wrong way around. There's people gonna judge and people gonna talk. They can say what they like, won't keep me up at night. Join it, do it. It's incredible. You'll learn a lot. It's gonna get tough, but they'll uh, they'll help you. They'll be right there if you have any questions. And, um, inspiring in the words changed my life in a way where uh, it gave me more confidence to do what I believe in, what I want to do. And for all the young kids out there, I tell them to go through with it. For sure, if they have an idea, go for it.